SpongeBob has not only been a part of my channel, but also my whole life. The writers take their time to leave the audience with a question at the end of the episode. Today I'll talk about the truth of bubble baths. This is the biggest Krusty Krab theory when we go back to season 1 episode Pickles. The theory will prove bubble baths worked for the Krusty Krabs before Spongebob. Stick to the end for the biggest theory ever. To understand why, let's take it from the top. Evidence 1 His Order In the episode Pickles, Bubble Bass approaches Squidward to order an unusual Krabby Patty. I'll take a double triple boxy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 four four animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease make it cry, burn it and let it swim. Why would Bubble Bass order a Krabby Patty with car parts and rafts? Maybe because he knows Spongebob never made one of those throughout his career. Or maybe Bubble Bass worked at the Krusty Krab and knew that they sold this particular patty when he was in the service long before Squarepants. Bubble Bass is trying to question Spongebob's talent on fry cooking since he is puzzled on why he got fired from the Krusty Krabs. He is trying to take revenge on Spongebob for taking his job. Spongebob and Bubble Bass are rivals since they looked each other in the eye with anger. Bubble Bass is using the analogy of, I can do it, can you? He looks like he knows a lot about food and thinks that he can get Spongebob out of the Krusty Krabs by proving him wrong. Evidence number 2 Knowledge In the same episode, Bubble Bass ate the Krabby Patty and lied saying the Krabby Patty had no pickles. What happens next will blow your mind. Bubble Bass asks for a refund of $2 for the Krabby Patty and talks about the Krusty Krab money back guarantee, which is written on the menu and requires a microscope to read off. Judging by Bubble Bass's glasses, it would be even harder for someone with imperfect vision to see microscopic words on a menu over 12 feet away. But then how did Bubble Bass even find out? Well, we all know that Mr. Krabs is very cheap and wrote the money back guarantee really small so customers don't see it. But employees would know about the guarantee since they work there and are supposed to know the rules and regulations. Bubble Bass clearly worked at the Krusty Krabs to know all the rules. Evidence number 3 Appearance If you are still not convinced that Bubble Bass worked at the Krusty Krab, then take a look at his appearance. He certainly matches a fry cook physique with his tank top, weight, and love for food. Maybe when Bubble Bass worked at the Krusty Krabs, he got free patties instead of paychecks which would explain why he weighs a lot. Evidence number 4 Plankton This may be the most fascinating evidence in today's theory. When I was watching Season 1, Episode 10B, Fun, I noticed that in the movie theater, Bubble Bass was trying to kill Plankton by sitting on him. Hey Bubble Bass, you're sitting on my friend! At first I wasn't buying it, but then in the end of the episode, it was shocking. Bubble Bass was trying to eat Plankton. In another episode, Bubble Bass was trying to escape from a smoking building window and landed on Plankton crushing him flat. This is obviously intended. Let's make connections. Who does Plankton hate? And who is Bubble Bass trying to impress? Hmm, Mr. Krabs. Clearly he is trying to kill Plankton so that he can impress Mr. Krabs and replace Spongebob's position. Guys, you gotta tell me this is planned, because this, there is no way this is an accident. And that's how the theory ends. With that being said, please check out my other theories where I uncover the meaning behind a character and an episode. Thanks for watching the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to never miss another video.